Welcome to Cooking with Andrea. Today we're going to be doing a Andrea's Fish and Chips um, dinner or lunch actually. We're going to do it for an early lunch. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take the last two uh, cod fillets we have. Uh, last year on our deep sea fishing trip uh, we got these. They uh, We caught them. It was so awesome and they fillet them for us nice and they vacuum seal and then we put it in our RV uh, freezer and we bring it home. So this is our last two. Good thing uh, vacation's coming up. We're going to do some more deep sea fishing in uh, California this year. Um, so I'm really super excited. Um, so I'll go ahead and we'll portion this in a minute. We're going to make our fish and chips. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get my potato ready. I'm going to do uh, like wedge potatoes. So what I'm going to do is take the potato and just slice it into wedges. One and a half potato for everybody is what I say. We only get a potato and a half. I have to do portions because, boy, I sure love potatoes. That's one of my downfalls. I would probably be a meat and potatoes kind of gal. I really would. Um, I do do chickens. and I mean, I do all meats and stuff, too. I'm doing really good on learning vegetables and doing vegetables now that I grow my own. Um, and I do love salads. I ain't going to tell a lie. I love corn, too. Okay, I'm just going to take this off the potato here. It's the yucky part. And then what we'll do is we'll go over and wash them. I already have some potatoes in the fryer already. Uh, I don't fry a whole lot. I have an air fryer as well. But I do not fry a whole lot. But when I do want to fry, I fry. Um, and... Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take these over there, let them sit, and we'll give them a wash and then put them back in the fryer or put them in the fryer. Okay, checking my potatoes right now. Oh, doing real good. Real good. We're going to take those out in a minute and we're going to let them sit because they have to try to fry because they're a big fat potato. So I'm just going to go ahead and take and uh, flip my board this way so I do not uh, have the board slip out. Okay, so I left the fish in the fridge, let it uh, unthaw, and then what I'm going to do is take and just dry it off, and now I'm going to portion it, but it's going to be a wet batter today for my fish and chips, so I'm going to do it about this big, boy, we caught some nice fish when we had gone on our vacay, so I'm just going to do them this big, and then I'm going to put this here, I'm going to grab another paper towel so I don't have to touch anything with fishy hands. I'm just going to let it sit there for a minute. I'm going to dry my board again. Yep, just like that. Let me take and dry my plate. And it's okay if it's wet. It's not like when you go to, because uh, it's going to be a wet batter. So it's not that big a deal. But I just don't want it sitting in its own wet. You know, you dry your chicken off. You dry everything else off. Might as well dry your fish. Um, not seasoning it. The batter has seasoning. And it's a fish and chips. I will salt and pepper after it comes out of the fryer. Okay, so I'm going to take this mess over here to the sink. I'm going to let my wedges dry here. Um, I'm just going to take my paper towel. I'm going to get my fresh little rinse in my bleach water. And oh, I need a towel. I did not grab a towel. I did not get grab a fresh towel. I keep them on my washer in my laundry room because I go through so many in one day you know I clean everything and after I'm done I go to tube, uh, I go to put them in the washer okay so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our wet batter we're gonna take uh, two-thirds cup of just all-purpose white flour shake it out pre-measured everything so you guys wouldn't have to sit there while I measured okay so I have two tablespoons of cornstarch I have uh, one teaspoon of salt. I have one teaspoon of, I'm sorry, that's not salt, that's sugar. And I have one teaspoon of celery salt. 
Um, that's my little thing. I love the celery salt in my fish. Uh, it doesn't add a whole lot of flavor, but it comes to the party and interacts. Uh, here is a teaspoon. No, no, no. This is a uh, fourth teaspoon of uh, baking powder, fourth teaspoon of uh, baking soda. Uh, we have a fourth teaspoon of uh, wonderful garlic powder, uh, onion powder and a fourth teaspoon of paprika, and this is a fourth teaspoon of uh, just black crush, pepper crush, fresh crush. Um, I'll put all the uh, ingredients in the uh, description box because that's a lot to remember. The only reason, I don't know some days how I remember things, you know, one day I'm gonna screw up and get everything all mixed up and wrong, but for right now we're doing okay. So I'm just taking everything off the paper plate, and we're just gonna give a mix. And that's all we're doing. We're just going to get this all mixed up good. Then we're going to go ahead and you can use uh, soda water or you can use uh, beer. I have some beer on hand. So we're going to do a beer battered fish and chips. This is what my husband and my son like when we go out to dinner. Uh, because I don't really make this too often to be honest. Um, they usually will order fish and chips. They are big fish and chips. And here I go. I order like chicken or a burger or steak or something. But I, I don't order too much steak out because I usually cook our steak here and I, I buy good steak. And so I usually eat steak at home. Okay, everything's all incorporated and mixed. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and open my beer. I'm gonna start out with three, four to, uh, three fourths cup. Oh, I poured too fast. I got too much, uh, pour slow. Pour slow and then do it at an angle so it doesn't foam on you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to the fryer and I'm going to put my my potatoes down again. I'm going to try. Potato looks good. It's gorgeous. Colors coming around. Nice. But it's still hard. You can tell. So it needs to fry again. Okay, and then, so I'm gonna start with three fourths cup. There we go, and that's about it. I can tell because I'm going to maybe go into a whole cup. You know, sometimes it depends, you know, I think on how you feel about your batter, you know? And I just put it all in and start mixing. Normally I'm smarter, I pour it slower because uh, I'm in the kitchen by myself and uh, mixing. Now I got bubbly um, batter, but it's okay. No problem. It'll calm down in a minute. So your consistency, it's on you. You're going to have to fry yourself. See how you like it, what your batter consistency is. I'll be able to tell you what mine is. I don't want a real super thick batter like that but I don't want it thin either where it doesn't stick to my fish so you have to kind of find that happy medium that you like I've seen it done several ways but three-fourths cup um, I used to do just a half a cup but I noticed that my batter in my opinion was too thick so three-fourths and you can also try it sometimes what I'll do is I'll take a little piece of the fish off and I'll just try it and see how it sits and see how I like it or what I'll do is put it in my fryer and uh, we'll go from there okay I like the consistency if I have to add more than three-fourths of a cup I'll let you know uh, but I do like it Maybe just a little bit. I'm going to do just a little bit more. And normally I could tell by how much beer I have left. I'm only going to put one fourth because you can make it real runny real fast. And then you have to redo everything. You just can't add uh, one scoop or one half cup of flour. You have to do the batter all over. Otherwise it's inconsistent. I found out. I tried that one time. Just do a little bit more. Okay, so I didn't even use half the, I used about half of the one-fourth, and I'm going to stop right here because I think this is a good consistency. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
pull off my fries and we're going to come back. I'm going to go ahead and then get the fish ready to uh, fry. But I want to check the consistency before I show you. Welcome back. Okay, we did some testing before we finish our fry. We took in, um, I wanted to make sure my batter was good. Everything tasted delicious because I'm not a big, uh, I don't fry a whole lot. Every once in a while I do, but it came out so nice and flaky and beautiful and the crust is gorgeous. Uh, the boys came in and they had a bite. This is like I said, what we're going to finish having for lunch. So now we're going to go ahead um, and we're going to go take these pieces and or I'll dip them here. I'm going to dip here so you guys could see it. I'm sorry, I didn't think about putting my fryer in front of the camera. You know, I don't want grease splattering on it either. But what we're going to do is we're going to take it, we're going to put it right in, and then we're going to go right to the fryer. But when you do fry, you have to make sure your basket's down, and you have to go back and forth. You can't let this fish touch the bottom until you start to get a little bit of crust because it will stick to the bottom of your fryer. Okay, that piece is fine. We're gonna cook it for uh, six minutes. Three on each side. Mine's a pretty thin fish. I can tell by color, but if you had a thicker piece, like normally you might want a little bit thicker, but like I said, you know, we caught this. So, you know, when you're out there deep sea fishing, uh, you, don't, you don't catch those big commercial ones like uh, they do. Um, so we are good. Just put it on your fork, dredge. It's not too much batter, but it is really super light and airy. I like fried stuff, but I usually don't do it this way. No wet batter. This is like uh, something more new that I'm experimenting with, and I love it. I think it's awesome. I love the wet batter idea. Never even thought I could do the wet batter idea because just really didn't get the concept. How's it really going to stick? How's it going to taste delicious? My gosh, it tastes so delicious. So I encourage people to try this. It's just um, one more thing. You know, the reason I wanted to learn how to do things like this is COVID taught me something. When I couldn't find a can of Manwich, there were hardly any restaurants open. And I'm a real big stickler on cold food. I do not like, uh, like I don't like buffets a lot because most of the time the food is cold. So I wanted to learn how to do these things for the future so I need it, I have it. My family wants it, I can whip it right up like that. Now this is a treat because it's a fried food. Usually we put things in air fryer. Honestly, we don't really fry too much. We do more baked, we do more uh, grilling out on our grill. We love to grill, me and my husband both. I'm gonna check the fish. Looks beautiful. I'm gonna show you a secret too. Say you want more batter than what I have on mine. I'm gonna show you. Some people like lots of batter. Take it, put it in your batter. Scoop it real fast. Just do like that. Put it back in your bread, uh, your your hot oil. Just hold it again for a minute, and it'll come falling right off. When it falls off, that's fantastic because that means um, nothing will stick to your bottom. That's why I say I don't fry too much. But people who like extra batter, it's just like when I do chicken, uh, you know, like this one. If you want more than that, just stick it back in here, and some will come out, but that's okay. And then. Um, but it'll get a nice little fat coating because of the uh, carbonation in the beer, I believe. Uh, just like I said, you don't have to use beer. You can use uh, soda water. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish frying these two and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Okay, I just took the fries out of the fryer. I'm just going to do a salt and pepper. little bit more pepper. I like my pep my fries heavily peppered. I like a lot of salt too. I'm not going to tell a lie. Potato needs a lot of salt. Okay, here's our beautiful fish. Well, first of all, I want to show you something. I did 
double batter on that one and regular batter on that. It's up to you. That's why when I went to camera, I checked my batter. Every time I go to batter something, I always check what my batter is going to be like. Some like it extra, some don't, you know. Uh, my mom and dad were a good example of that. My dad loved it heavy, loved to go to Sizzler and get their fish and chips because they were so heavily battered. And my mom's like, no, I don't want those because there's too much batter on there. So to each his own. But this is really something easy. If I can do it, you can do it. So this is just an easy meal. It's a nice meal where you could stay home. You don't have to go out, especially if it's snowing and raining, but you're craving. So if uh, you would like, please try this super easy batter. This is how the little pieces look. You can do any kind of fish with it. Remember, thicker fish mine was thin because we caught it ourselves we did a little bit thinner batter just don't add so much liquid and it'll be a thicker batter use whatever condiments you want like if you like the content if you would please like share and subscribe i'd be most grateful thanks and i hope you have a blessed week